Will we change? That's what Paris is all about. But the answer that will come uh, from here in Paris will come not only from the final text of an agreement that the national governments will sign, but from the business community, from the NGOs, and from the investor community. I said that there are other reasons why we must change. Investors need to look at the pattern that is unfolding, lest they be trapped holding stranded assets. There are now trillions of dollars of stranded carbon assets, and there are illusions which levitate uh, the assertion that the value is much higher than it really is. So a lot of investors are now saying, here's what you have to do. Diversify your investments in the low carbon economy. Divest first from the riskiest uh, carbon assets and over time from all that look as if they are in danger of being stranded. And then invest in the fantastic new opportunities that are emerging in the low carbon economy. And one of the biggest parts of Carbon Tracker is a team of seven former investment bank analysts. Our mission is to align financial market or capital market risk with climate risk, and we use financial analysis and regulatory analysis to do that. And it, I think in many ways, the, the key thing that Carbon Tracker managed to do was to translate a key aspect of the climate science, the carbon budget, into the language of its audience, the financial markets, in a way that told them they have a investment risk now. We heard from Vice President Gore about the, the massive scale up of green, clean climate finance. And the growth at the moment is unbelievable, but it is happening. But we're still at a stage where the size of that market is dwarfed by investments and the amount of money tied up in the incumbency, the fossil fuel industry. There's a perfect storm of risks now faced by fossil fuel investments.